that's crazy. And you know what, folks, as we head into the next couple of days, thankfully our severe weather threat slim to none, okay? We are going to watch out to the west, especially this morning for our friends in Louisiana who are dealing with a severe thunderstorm watch. And then in the coming days, that severe weather threat is going to stay in the central portion of the country away from the first coast. But you'll notice this coloring here, the light green, that's an indication that we have a chance for some pop-up thunderstorms. As we add some heat to the picture, we'll be talking about our more typical sea breeze downpours that could come into play with a nice typical late April, early May weather pattern. Temperatures today right where they should be for this time of year in those lower 80s, but soaring into those mid 80s tomorrow, then near 90 Wednesday and even into the weekend. All right, one thing we'll be talking about though, most every day uh, here across the first coast is the risk of rip currents, all right? And that risk will be on the moderate scale today, but I would say you'll have to really be careful, especially during times of high tide when that water drops off a lot faster. So we're, we're starting to warm up, and so people want to head into the waters to cool off. Those temperatures in the ocean are also warming up as well, especially as you head deeper into the river, uh, into the mid-70s. Gusty at times out there, those lower 80s. That high tide is right around lunchtime, which puts us at low tide, Actually, the next hour will be dead low tide at 6.45 in the morning and then 6.35 in the evening on our Monday. That sun is up at 6.45 today and that sun sets just after 8 p.m. Those temperatures will peak in the lower 80s at the coast. They'll be cooling through the 70s as we head towards sunset. Extended outlook includes that high pressure in control off of our coast. Once that gets anchored offshore, that's really our fair weather friend and helps to kind of shield any of those stronger storms out to the the west, but what we get here at home are those lighter wind patterns out of the south and those sea breezes colliding in the center of our state each and every afternoon. One thing I will also say is as that sea breeze off the Atlantic side lets off in the evening, those downpours will head back toward the beaches by Tuesday and Wednesday evenings. Let's get over to Kate.